Ronaldinho has spoken about him and how he learned playing street-style football from him. But, is he underrated or not just known? Augustine Azuka Okocha, popularly known as JJ Okocha, has undoubtedly left a mark in the football world, but not everyone knows some intimate facts about him. Augustine Azuka Okocha was born August 14, 1973, in Enugu State to his parent Mr. and Mrs. Azuka Okocha, who hailed from Aguashiaku, Delta State, Nigeria. His parent later moved to Iwo, Osun State, Nigeria. Okocha, in an interview with BBC Sport, mentioned that growing up, he and his friends had to kick anything that had a round shape. Whenever they had the chance to kick a ball, they were overjoyous. He started playing on the street just like many other great Nigerian footballers, with a makeshift ball. JJ was loved by football fans across the world for his confidence on the ball, tricky moves on the ball, dribbling skills, faint moves, amazing free-kick goals, creativity, passing in his trademark step-over and sharp turns. He started his football career with the Nigerian Professional League side Enugu Rangers, where he showed the world his ability on the ball. One unforgettable display includes his goal against BCC Lions, where he rounded off one of the then-experienced goalkeepers, Willy Akpa. Later that year, he traveled to West German to watch the German Football League. According to the report, his friend, Binabi Numa, who played in the German third division Borussia Nunkirchen, invited him to train, where he was later asked to join the session. The team manager was impressed with his skills and was asked to come for the next session the next day before he was offered a contract. He scored seven goals for the Division Three side, winning the Solent Cup twice and the Oberliga Sudwest once before moving to FC Saarbrücken, a Division II side, but only spent a few months joining the Bundesliga side FC Frankfurt. Frankfurt announced the signing of Okocha in December 1991. Settling down at this new site, he linked up with fellow African footballer Tony Yeboah, German star Thomas Dahl, and many popular football players then. He started well for his new side following some awesome displays, including his goal against Karlsruhe, where he dribbled past one of the greatest goalkeepers Oliver Rolf Kahn and the other two players. The goal was later voted the goal of the season and the 1993 goal of the year by viewers of a sports car, a German TV sports program. After joining the side, Austin and some of his mates had a feud with the manager Jupp Hanks which saw them leave the team with immediate effect, except for JJ, who had to wait until the season was over he left the side. He scored a total of 18 goals in 90 appearances for the side. Austin went on to join the Turkish giant Fenerbahce for a fee reported to be approximately around £1 million following his exit from Eintracht Frankfurt. He spent two seasons with the Turkish giant winning the Prime Minister's Cup and the Ataturk Cup for each season, respectively. He gathered a total of 30 goals, most coming from direct free kicks in his 62 appearances for the side. French side Paris Saint-Germain announced the signing of JJ in 1998 for a reported fee of £14 million, which made him the most expensive African football player as of then. He served as a mentor to young Brazilian legend Ronaldinho during his time with the club. He went on to score 12 times for the French side during his four years at the French capital. Okocha left the French side in the summer of 2002 after Korea-Japan World Cup to join the English premier side Bolton Wanderers, despite his debut season being disturbed by a series of injuries, his performance made him a fan favorite, which made the team print shirt with the inscription, JJ so good they named him twice. His goal against West Ham United which was later voted the Bolton goal of the season helped the team escape relegation for that season. The goal was later voted Bolton's best Premier League goal in 2008. Following the retirement of Gudney Bergson, JJ was saddled with more responsibility, with the team handing him the captain armband. As the captain of the team, he led the team to the first cup final after nine years without a final they later ended as runner-up in the 2004 Football League Cup following a 2-1 defeat to Middlesbrough. Three years after being named the captain of the team, he was later stripped of the captaincy, 
a development he described as something he saw coming following the change of attitude towards him by some staff of the club. According to the report, this resulted from media speculations that he would be leaving the English side for the Middle East. Okocha, however, refused to extend his contract at the end of the season, which made him move to Qatar. He left the side winning the Premier Player Month once in November 2003 and the Bolton Player of the Year in the 2004-2005 season. He was also the BBC African Player of the Year for 2003 and 2004, scoring 14 times in 124 matches for the Wanderers. Okocha's stay with the Qatari side, Qatar Sports Club, was very short, appearing just 41 times for the side and scoring 6 times. Just a year after leaving the United Kingdom for Qatar, Football League Championship side Hull City announced the signing of Okocha on a few transfers after being heavily linked with a move to the United States, with Real Salt Lake and Sydney FC showing interest in the skillful Nigeria player. Okocha described his move to the English side as a move which God told him to make as of then. He spent just a season with the side with injury problems and fitness issues which saw him make just 18 appearances for the side without a single goal. However, despite JJ not contributing greatly to the team due to injury, the team managed to secure Premier League promotion for the first time in the team's history after 104 years. Injury problems and fitness concerns pushed the team to release JJ Okocha, which makes him consider retirement from active football. Okocha, in 2017, was voted the best player to ever represent the Wanderers at the Reebok slash Macron Stadium, the home ground for Bolton Wanderers. Okocha made his first official debut for the Super Eagles of Nigeria in 1993, and the fixture was believed to be against Ivory Coast in the 1994 World Cup qualifier, a fixture which ended in a 2-1 defeat to the Elephants, leaving Okocha and the Super Eagle team with a must-win game against Algeria. JJ made his second cap and home debut against Algeria, a fixture which saw Nigeria trail behind 1-0 in a must-win match to secure World Cup qualification, JJ made himself a fan favorite by scoring an equalizer from a direct free kick, the match later ended in a 4-1 win for the Super Eagles securing them a spot in the World Cup, the first for the country. He also represented the country in the 1994 Africa Cup of the Nation, where the team ended up as runner-up. Following his amazing display and performance, JJ has voted the Nigerian Player of the Year for 1995, an award he later went on to win seven-time, including four-time consecutively from 2002 to 2005. Okocha was a key member of arguably the most successful Nigeria football team in 1996. The side that won the 1996 Olympics gold at the Atlanta Games. He was also part of the disappointing squad that represented the country in the France 98-foot World Cup, where the team didn't live up to the Nigerian expectation following their success at the Olympics. Their performance at the competition's group stage defeated Spain and Bulgaria but later crashed out of the competition following their 4-1 defeat to Denmark. Okocha's last tournament for the Nigeria national team was at the 2000 co-host Africa Cup of Nations between Nigeria and Ghana, where the team ended up as runner-up following a 2-2 draw with Cameroon. There also was his last goal for the side. The Indomitable Lions won the game 4-3 on a penalty shootout. He had a total of three goals in the competition, including a brace against Tunisia in the opening game of the competition, a performance that earned him a standing ovation from the 60,000 spectators present on this fateful day. JJ made a return to the Super Eagle team in his testimonial match played in Wari, Nigeria against an African selected 11. Featuring great African players like John Fashionu, Amakachi, Sully Montari and others. Team Nigeria won the game, with Okocha scoring the winning goal after appearing for the team in the second half. This marked his last involvement with the Super Eagle. Okocha, following his retirement from professional football, expressed his interest in becoming the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, in 2015. 
He didn't contest the election but was elected as the chairman of the Delta State Football Association. He served as a football pundit, African sports broadcaster and supersport since 2019, where he provide match analysis for major tournament across Africa and Europe. Okocha's unbelievable talent and career that came to an end without winning the Africa Footballer of the Year still remains a surprise for Nigerian football fans. Guess you enjoy gluing along and following the story up till now? For more exciting sports stories, don't forget to please subscribe.